How's it going guys? Today I got something a little different I want to show you. This is a reverse shell attack that I have uh, mostly developed myself with some help from several different repositories on GitHub and just some Googling stuff. Um, so on the left here I have a computer running Kali Linux. It's listening right now using netcat on port 4444. Um, and I'm using a tunnel to be able to make this work from anywhere in the world, by the way. Um, so it doesn't just have to be on, the, on my lo local network. Sorry, stumbling over my words. Um, right here I've got a fresh Windows install, Windows 10. And it's got, it's fully updated. It doesn't have anything disabled or anything. Um, so Windows Defender is active. And uh, that's why I had to do a little tweaking myself because I found the code um, in different places on the internet and I had to compile it to be able to bypass on those Defender and stuff like that, the antivirus that comes stock on Windows computers. So what I'm going to be using is this right here. It's a DigiSpark. Um, here I've got one without the adapter on it. It's pretty small, um, real easy, pretty easy to use and fun to play around with and code. And so I have this one, which I have disabled the five second delay at um, startup. So it actually starts working right away. And I'll just show you the first part of the code. And then I'll take my camera away to show over here what's going on on Kali. So let's just plug it in right here. And I'm plugging it in in three, two, one now. And it pulls up PowerShell. This first one disable disables Windows Defender. The second one, and then, <laughs> that was fast. Sorry, it's just my IP address, and I just didn't want to share that, but there we go. And I've got a connection, and it minimizes the window. So it did that in a little under 13 seconds. And now what I'm going to do is, just to show that I do have um, a connection with it, let's put this into Hibernate. So it's connected over here, and enter. And it works really fast. And like I said, I can do this from anywhere in the world. So it's kind of cool <laughs> just having it. I mean, this can fit in your pocket and you can access literally any Windows 10, Windows 10 computer. It bypasses um, the admin prompt. I guess the only thing is that if you have um, obviously a password on your computer, then it won't work. But I have it set right now to work without a password on the computer, but still it disables Windows Defender. So that was it. Just wanted to show that off real quick. Um, I've just been playing with it a little bit and it's been a lot of fun. So... Thanks for watching, guys. I know it's totally not what I normally talk about, but um, I thought it was fun, so I thought some of you might be interested. Um, leave a thumbs up if you thought this video was interesting, and uh, thanks for watching once again. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one.